Okay guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the motor M pulls on the cable with the force of this. Force is given as a function of time where it is in seconds. If the 100 kg crate is originally at rest at t equals to 0, determine its speed when t equals to 4 seconds. Neglect the mass of the cable and pulleys and the hint is given it is said that first find the time needed to begin lifting the crate. So we are given this crate and we have to find the velocity of this crate uh, after t equals to 4 seconds. So after 4 seconds we have to find the velocity of this uh, crate. So first of all we have to draw the free body diagram. So for that let's say that let's say that this is the force applied by the motor which will uh, which will be continuous right so in all the ropes will have that same force f so let's say this is that force f this is force f and this is force f and the weight of the crate is going to act vertically downward which is 100 times 9.81 which will give us 981 newtons so before the start of the motion uh, for some time the motor will try to lift the crate so it will take some time to develop that force to lift this crate so before the start of the motion the system will remain in equilibrium and the summation of forces along the y-axis must be equals to zero so let's say that in the positive direction that is uh, the upward direction is the positive direction of all the forces so as we can see that uh, this force f these three forces are acting in the positive uh, y direction so we will write 3f so we will write 3f minus weight weight is 981 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that f is equal to 981 divided by 3 and f is given as a function of time which is the we can write that this f is 10 t square plus 300 this will be equal to 981 divided by 3 and 981 divided by 3 is this is 327 so this gives us 327 327 and, and if i bring this 300 to the other side of equation so it will become minus and if we divide both side of equation by 10 so that will give us t square so t square is equal to this and and if we take the square root so that will give us the t value from this equation t equals to 1.643 seconds so after this much time uh, the weight will the crate will start its motion in the upward direction so before t equals to 1.643 the force is not able to produce the motion so if if someone asks to find that force so for we can find that force by using this equation 10 t square plus 300 and if we put that t equals to 1.643 1.643 square plus 300 so this will give us that force which will enable the system to lift this crate so this is 1.643 square plus 300 this gives us uh, 326.99 so this force is approximately 327 newton now to find the velocity of the crate after four seconds we are going to apply the uh, the principle of linear momentum which says that the initial momentum plus the impulse and that is equal to the final momentum and we are going to apply this equation in the vertical direction and this is our positive direction so now as we can see that uh, the initial velocity is zero so this will become zero and this force these three forces are acting these forces are acting in the positive y direction and we have three forces so these are the external forces so this is the impulse due to the external forces so we have these uh, three f forces these are the external forces and this weight this is the external force so they are going to produce the impulse right so we have to write that the impulse due to those those three forces which are acting in the vertical direction so that is 3f dt and the impulse due to the weight for weight we have to write 
we need to write minus 981 which is 981 into dt and this is equal to mass is 100 and v2 is required so now if we want to integrate this so we have to put we can write this as 3 we can write the, the the constant outside of integration so now we have 3 integral of f f is given as a function of time which is 10 t square plus 300 into dt and this 981 is constant we can write it outside and this is dt and this is equal to 100 v2 and now we have to integrate this from 1.643 since the motion start at 1.643 second and we want to find v2 at 4 seconds so this is 1.643 until 4 and now if we integrate this so this gives us 3 and the integration of this will give us the integration of this will give us 10 t to the power 3 divided by 3 plus 300 into t and we have to put the limits of 1.643 until 4 and this is minus 981 and the integration of this will give us t so 981t and we have to put those limits which is 1.643 until 4 second and this is equal to 100 v2 now we have to put these values these limits so this is we can write that 3 and 10 divided by 3 is 3.33 into 4 to the power 3 plus 300 into 4 then minus 10 divided by 3 again 3.33 and now instead of t we have to write this 1.643 the lower limits to the power 3 minus 300 and 1.643 and then minus this 981 and we have to put the limits for t which is 4 minus 1.643 and this is equal to 100 v2 so this all gives uh, us the value of 22716.35 and then minus this gives us this gives us 2312.217 and this is equal to 100 v2 and if we want to find v2 we have to divide both sides of equation by 100 so that will give us v2 so v2 comes out to be 4.04 meter per second so this is the velocity of the grade after t equals to 4 seconds which was required so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning